Hi guys, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for joining. So you know me, if you've seen my videos, I'm always mentioning that I keep styrofoam and other things that people may throw away, but I always see that I will be able to use them. And styrofoam, I keep it for anything that I may use as a back cover or stuffing. But this time I had these blocks in a package for protection and I just looked at them and I said, I'm going to use them as a basket. One of them was a little bit thinner, but as I said, I've got lots of clean, as long as they're clean. So I added over here, you can see I'm gluing another piece to make it similar in size and shape as the other one because anything that I do for my front door I've got double doors so I have to do two of them so obviously if you've got one you wouldn't need to do this now if you want to do this and you don't have it you could do a cardboard box if you order from Amazon you know anything that we could do to save the planet it is Earth Day coming in April uh, I think April 22 Mother's Day is coming up I mean spring is not that great at least here in Canada it snowed even so uh whatever you're gonna do it for these are a great idea and best of all it's no cost and you've got the styrofoam already there for you to put the flowers in so what I did was I cut the corners to shape sort of like a basket rather making it look like uh, just a square the rope I got from Dollarama because the rope that I saw at Dollar Tree just seemed to be less meters and so by the time you go through a bunch of rolls to me it looked more economically to get these big rolls for five bucks at Dollarama. I just thought that when you're wrapping the rope, if you don't go very tightly, you don't want to see the white styrofoam through it. The back, you don't have to paint it, uh, obviously. I ended up putting some beige territorial. It's That's the color. When I was doing gluing of the rope, it didn't seem to be that bad for you to see the styrofoam through it. So, you know, it's up to you if you're going to put some paint on it or not. it's good to just kind of burn off the little pieces of hairs. Now the thicker ones, I cut them off because I don't want to go through the risk of burning them all the way through. So I ended up just cutting off the uh, thicker pieces of hair, the few ones that are there. wanted to put wooden rings to make it more like a visual basket so I ended up cutting off the lace ribbon off of the whole ribbon because I had two of them
And then the key to this is just uh, doing three rounds of the jute twine close together, evenly, not on top of each other. And, and then just I put a little bit of glue so that it would stay in place. I ended up ordering online some smaller ones from Amazon and I used those ones on the side because the bigger ones were too big to be put on the side. And I used the ribbon as if it was fed through and keeping the wooden rings together. I didn't want to like tie all of the rings, so I did just two by two. Those big leaves I have in my stash for quite some time. I have a bunch of them. They're more like a tropical, so I put those in the back, more decorative. And these I've used several times. I've got a lot of them from several projects that I've done with they were from Michaels oh these I love they're so nice and bright these daisies such a happy color yellow I have these different greeneries and I'm going to bring out another one as well for fillers. What do you guys think? Does it look like there is a styrofoam in there? I don't think anybody could tell. Let me know in the comments what you think. Tell me at the end once everything is together if anybody just walking by could tell that's a styrofoam or if it looks like a basket. So with the other ribbon, I'm doing the bow. Now guys, I'm not the best at bow making, okay? But I figure the more you do it, the more you practice, the better you get. The burlap material is so stiff to work with when you're flipping back and forth. this one you got to link the second one so you get the poof that's larger than the other one if that makes sense
See how the first one is shorter? So you get the one behind it that sticks up longer. And I had two rings left over and I thought I'm gonna stick it in the bow somehow put it in the middle so I stuck the tails through as well I'm really happy how it came out I think it looks really nice Now that jute rope from a hanging shelf that I a, another project with. So I had two of those hanging ropes and I thought I'm going to use it for this because it matches perfectly. Now it's probably not aesthetically pleasing to use these little clips but I had these from I think it was a tank top hanger. I thought these would be good to feed through for this rope here. You can't really see it with the flowers on top of it and the big leaves and I didn't really want to put a hole through the ribbon and I thought let me try to see if it will hold and it did seem to hold but I put glue just in case and they worked out okay you have something like that you can try that or maybe those Dollar Tree wood clothes pins So that's it guys. Tell me what you think. Did you think it was a good idea to use the styrofoam if you're going to try it? And do they look like baskets? And I hope you can leave a comment. It would really help my channel. Thank you all for subscribing and tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.